Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to sort of continue where we began in the last section, where we talked about different kinds of numbers. And we're going to talk in, in some detail about what we call the number line. We actually introduced it in the last section, you know, and kind of gave you an idea of what it is. But here, we're going to really go into it in some more detail, so you really feel comfortable uh, looking at it. It's not hard at all. And it's actually a little fun when you get into it. Now, let me give you a little motivation. The reason we care about the number line is because this course is really the first time most of you have really been exposed to the negative number. And I already gave you my take on the negative number. It's basically when you, you don't have that many of something, you actually owe that to somebody else. It's, it's a deficit. Um, you know. So if your budget is negative, if, if the money you make in a month and versus the money you spend in a month is negative, it means you're actually spending more money than you actually make. It's not a good situation. If you, you know, have negative three pencils, then I don't actually have that many pencils. I actually owe somebody else that many pencils. So that's what that really is. But the number line is good because it lets you represent those positive and negative numbers graphically, which really helps a lot of people visualize uh, what they are. So let's get right to it. This is going to be the number line. In every course in algebra, pre-algebra, always covers this because it's really important. And the good news is it's really easy. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, we can represent numbers on a number line. And we've already sort of drawn one. Let's draw another one. We're going to go ahead and draw an arrow at one end and try to draw a line as straight as I can, which I know is not perfectly straight. And basically, in the center of this number line, you put the number 0. And the bottom line is, all of the numbers that go to the right are the positive numbers that we've always been dealing with all our life. 5 jelly beans, 3 jelly beans, 10 jelly beans, whatever, over here. And then everything to the left is sort of what's new in this class, the negative numbers. They're not so mystical. It just means you don't really have those. You owe those to someone else. They're deficits that you don't, you know, you don't really own them, you, you, you owe them to somebody else. And they go off this way. So negative one, negative two jelly beans, negative three jelly beans, off in this direction. So the way you write your number line is you put little tick marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can write your number line to have as many as you know, as many uh, numbers as you want because this little arrow here means it goes on to infinity. So the number line really goes in both directions forever and ever and ever. It contains every number that you could possibly think of. Right? And to the left is the negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So you see 0 is sort of like ground 0 here in the middle and then going out both directions the numbers get larger and larger it's just that these are negative and these are positive. Okay so if we wanted so this is just a general number line I'm just sort of showing you what, what, what one is uncluttered. Um, if I wanted to plot the number 3 on the number line uh, it would be very easy. If your test said plot the number 3 on a number line, that would be easy. You would draw a number line. You have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and of course you have your negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Plot the number 3 is very simple. You just find the number 3 and you put a dot there. That is the number on the number line.